quick revision video on ionic formulae and be sure to subscribe for new content. Okay, so we'll start with the simple ion. So these contain a single atom. We can determine the formula of a simple ion from periodic table position. So we're going to look at these here. So starting with these, these all form a 1 plus ion. So obviously these are fairly straightforward. Group 1 lose 1 electron to get the full outer shell that's underneath and that gives them a 1 plus charge. This is the only sort of odd one that's not obvious. So silver forms a 1 plus ion. These substances here form a 2 plus ion. So very easy to explain these. Group 2 two electrons in the outer shell, so they will lose those to get a full outer shell underneath, so they get a 2 plus charge. And here's the sort of odd one out, if you like. Zinc forms a 2 plus ion. And the only member of group 3 that we're going to worry about is aluminium, and that forms a 3 plus ion. So it loses its three outer electrons, valence electrons, and becomes a 3 plus ion. So moving on to the non-metals, we've got the noble gases. They don't form ions, so they have a full outer shell and so therefore don't need to lose or gain any electrons. So they don't form ions. Group 7, so they are one electron short of a full outer shell. So these form one minus ions, they gain an electron. These two here, these two group six elements, they will form two minus ions because they're gonna gain two electrons. And these two here are gonna form three minus ions. So we'll just finish this slide by talking a little bit more about some transition elements. One of their properties is the fact that they can form ions with different charges. For example, iron and copper, we're gonna look at those as our examples. So the charge of the ion is shown by a Roman numeral in the name of the ion. So, for example, lithium doesn't need a Roman numeral. It wouldn't be lithium Roman 1 because lithium only forms a 1 plus ion. However, so copper you can see there, so that's copper with a Roman 1 is the Cu plus or Cu 1 plus ion. Copper with a Roman 2 is the Cu 2 plus ion. And likewise for iron, that typically would form iron Roman 2, so Fe2 plus and iron Roman 3, Fe3+. So we'll move on to slightly more complicated ions now. So these are polyatomic ions, so they contain more than one atom. So we're just going to look at these here that, that are on the slide now. So the ammonium ion is NH4+, and I'm afraid these are just going to have to be committed to memory. Moving on to the 1- minus ions, hydroxide is OH-, minus. Nitrate is NO3, 1 minus. Nitrite is NO2, 1 minus. Hydrogen carbonate is HCO3, 1 minus. And an ion that you'll come across more likely um, in year 13 is the manganate 7 ion. That's a Roman 7, by the way, VII. That's the MnO4, 1 minus ion. I explain the significance of that seven in oxidation numbers videos. So if you want to check those out, please do so. So moving on to the two minus ions now. Carbonate is CO3, two minus. Sulfate is SO4, two minus. Sulfite is SO3, two minus. And another sort of more year 13 ion is the dichromate six ion. That's a Roman six, VI is Cr2O7 2 minus. And then finally, 3 minus ion we've got there is phosphate, which is PO4 3 minus. Obviously, there are more than these polyatomic ions, but these are the most common ones that I see in A level. So, definitely worth learning these. So, we'll just finish by explaining how to write the formulae from ions. So, these are the formulae of ionic substances. So all ionic compounds contain a positive ion, that's what we call a cation, and a negative ion, an anion. The overall charge of the compound has to be zero. So in other words, the sum of the positive charge must equal the sum of the negative charge. So we're going to look at these three examples here. So we'll look at the ions that are present 
the ratio of ions needed to give an overall charge of zero and then the formula. So sodium oxide, the ions present are Na plus and O2 minus. So you can see one of each of those is not going to um, give an overall charge of zero. So we need two Na plus ions for every um, O2 minus ion. And so the formula reflects that, it's Na2O. Iron 2 nitrate now, so the um, Roman 2 signifies that we've got Fe2 plus present. Nitrate, NO3, 1 minus. So again, we um, one of each won't work. We need two nitrate ions for every Fe2 plus ion, which means the formula is written like this. So you can see a bracket being used there for the polyatomic ion. So we need two of those for every Fe2 plus ion. And then finally, aluminium sulfate. So the ions present are Al3 plus, SO4, 2 minus. Again, a one-to-one -one ratio is not going to work. So we need to get the charges up to 6 plus and 6 minus before they equal each other. And therefore, we need two aluminium 3 plus ions and three sulfate ions. And so the formula of that would be written like this.